to talk about the months ahead. Andrew Smith joins us now from the University of Chichester. Thanks for joining us on the programme, sir. Um, first of all, what do you make of those proposals heard at the end of that report by Gerald Darmina on immigration? Just how controversial do you think they're going to be? <laughs> Well, I think um, we've come to expect from Gerard Damanan, um, some people would say that he is uh, firm, um, others that these are perhaps typically inflammatory comments. Um, he's made a lot of, uh, he's made a lot out of crime statistics and people's uh, place of birth are committing crime statistics in, in Paris and in Marseille. And of course, as you mentioned in the package, he's been in Mayotte uh, recently talking about uh, these ideas of immigration, about, you know, uh, looking at naturalisation and citizenship. And this is something he's promised to bring forward for a long time. Um, you mentioned there we're looking at a, a bill which will arrive later this year and um, with the intention that there will be a big debate about it beforehand. Um, but Darmanin tends to link these things to a broader understanding of what he terms the ideas of security and national security within um, France's cities. And of course, this ties into things like the urban rodeos, which he's been really big on in terms of priority. People you know, riding scooters and motorbikes through the centre of town and all the rest. So these are a kind of package, uh, really, that are part of the kinds of uh, priorities that Domina has consistently pushed. Um, and these are the kinds of things that will obviously appeal to some of the types of votes which perhaps Macron's majority won't want uh, to win in the Assembly, where they'll perhaps see support from the far right for proposals from people like Darmanin, whose policies sit very far to the right of that liberal centre which um, uh, Macron's majority supposedly occupies. What about economic issues? Do you think that we're probably looking at another autumn in France of major strikes and major protests? It's going to be a big challenge. Um, obviously, uh, France is uh, beset at the moment uh, by the inflation crisis, which is, uh, you know, uh, moving across most of Europe as we speak. Um, the government has been very clear to try and stress the differences um, to the United Kingdom, um, showing where government action has limited energy price rises. Of course, we saw the, the nationalisation um, of energy companies um, and then obviously the uh, the limiting of uh, price rises as well. Now, some of that is is shielding those kind of, you know, the energy shield we saw in the, the cost of living bill as it was pushed through just before the end uh, of the last term. And But many of those things are still alive and still going to be um, a big issue. Of course, we're talking about issues of energy supply over winter with the potential of Russian shutoffs. Um, Emmanuel Macron spoke at the weekend about, you know, the cost of freedom and protecting France's values. Those are really big issues. But as you mentioned already, um, of course, there are other things, hangovers from COVID. So, of course, the uh, reforms to unemployment uh, insurance, unemployment welfare um, that need to happen. And um, people like Olivier de Dussault, um, the, uh, the Labour minister is talking about a more flexible system, limiting access in some ways. Uh, and of course, those pension reforms as well, which are still rumbling away in the background, much promised since the start of Emmanuel Macron's regime. But this is, of course, his first uh, term was defined perhaps by crises and responses to them. And actually, it's looking much like the second is continuing to be responding to crises. Way back in July, he said he was going to be more like Vulcan than Jupiter at the forge, trying to create things. Well, there are a lot of things that need to be created to find solutions to a really difficult political rotary for Emmanuel Macron at this moment. Andrew Smith from the University of Chichester. Thanks very much.